Our clients are telling us that competitive pressures is one of the biggest accelerators to digital transformation. We surveyed 600 executives recently and 90% of them told us that they're feeling the effect and in more intense competition from companies that have transformed themselves digitally. So when you think about the drivers behind the disruption, really a lot of it comes down to technology. When you think about mobility, when you think about cloud services, when you think about consumers who have grown up in the digital age, um, this is forcing a change, an entire change of business models. The technology has been at the core of a number of disruptive trends in financial services, and it's really been the driver around three key themes. The first being convergence and convergence of other industries into financial services, and frankly, financial services leveraging data and technology that now exists in other industries. The second really is a wholesale sort of interruption or disruption of business models and new entrants entering into the competitive landscape. And certainly last could be a much more transformative journey and that could be the leveraging of things like blockchain technology that will completely change the financial services ecosystem and marketplace. When we think about the impact of the blockchain, it's useful to think of it with reference to trust. Every transaction fundamentally requires an element of trust, whether it's buying a book online or buying or selling property. The blockchain has the power to do two things, I think, essentially. One is increase the size of many existing markets by reducing the transaction cost, and two, create many new markets and opportunities around those markets. When you think about the Internet of Things, whether it's washing machines alerting a user that they're about to run out of detergent or an air conditioning unit predicting a, a malfunction, at its core, all of these require some central control and command person. What the blockchain can do is create the building blocks that can accelerate this and encourage people to develop these applications in the same way that certain internet protocols increased the size and take up of the internet some time ago. All of these make the financial services industry very ripe for blockchain adoption. So I think the Internet of Things has been an incredible contributor to uh, convergence in the sector. Financial services doesn't always have the reputation of being tip of the spear in the innovation curve, but it really has embraced this digital journey and really has embraced disruptive technology and, and creative thinking of their business models and, and in their evolution. You know, that's been a huge impact in the wealth and asset management space when we think about the rise of robo-advisors and sort of taking things that were sort of analytical Political and human processes and making them algorithmic processes. So if we think about what financial technology or fintech really is, it's transformational and new business models combined with technology to evolve and to grow and change and disrupt financial services. And so I think what you've seen is um, lower barriers to entry. So we have new organizations that didn't necessarily grow up with the legacy complex systems that the sort of incumbent financial institutions have. And so they're able to see the world and write a world that's different with a blank page. Of the 600 executives that we surveyed, 60% of them anticipated M&A helping them with their digital transformation along the way. That could be in the form of of an acquisition, it could be in the form of a partnership or some sort of JV. Mergers and acquisitions and alliances and joint ventures are absolutely an accelerant to technology and particularly as the build uh, time cycles are not competing with the uh, buy time scales and, and sort of speed to market. And so we're seeing increasing investment certainly internally but more importantly we're seeing joint ventures and alliances in the marketplace as people try to access new technologies and they're doing that through corporate venture capital funds, they're doing that through partnerships, they're trying to understand how others have technology um, that can be leveraged into their businesses, so I would say collaboration models. As our clients are increasingly thinking about the digital journey and making investments into that, they're also starting to look at their existing businesses and how to reshape their portfolio, whether it's business units that need to be invested or business units that actually need some fundamental operational change. All of that is part of this digital journey for our clients.